Hello everyone. Well, I've dug out my retro shirt today because I'm going to be unboxing a vacuum cleaner from the late 70s, early 80s. It's a vacuum cleaner fairly common back in the day and it's a vacuum cleaner my mum had. And it's why it's one vacuum I've wanted in my collection for quite some time. Unfortunately, as you can see, mm, it's been sent in bubble wrap, fully assembled like this bubble wrap and a couple of bin liners. So this doesn't always go well for me when I open a vacuum that's not been properly packed. But anyway, I'm going to unbox it. Fingers crossed this vacuum cleaner has survived the journey all the way from Yeovil in Somerset. Now then, this cleaner features in an early photograph I've got. In fact, it's the earliest photo I can find of my first collection of vacuum cleaners and out of that photo I've nearly got all those cleaners again not always the same color scheme but apart from one I think I've managed to rebuild that collection and this has always been a gap I did win one of these a while ago and for some reason the seller didn't send it didn't respond to my emails took my money and, and, and just basically didn't send the item. And obviously I complained to eBay. He ignored the complaints and I got my money back. I didn't want my money back, I wanted the cleaner. But I knew that uh, if I kept checking eBay, another Electrolux 502 would come up. And hopefully it would be one that uh, they would post because a lot of them I have seen a few on eBay recently and they won't post them just a bit of a some old bags for packaging well at least it's had a box around the bottom so it's had some protection I suppose okay I'm going to remove all this bubble wrap and then we'll have a closer look at this avocado green Electrolux 502. Okie dokie, well, she's out of the wrapping and I've had a quick look over and so far there's nothing damaged. There are a few faults, as one would expect, but the things I can put right quite cheaply or for free because I have got some parts for an Electrolux uh, 500 series. This is nowhere near in as good condition as the Electrolux 504. I was absolutely thrilled with that one. And I wanted a 504 because that was the machine my grandparents had. And this is the cleaner I remember my mum getting. Previous to this, she had a Hoover Freedom 750, which wasn't very good, to be honest. This was a great improvement. Now, I have wiped it over and given it a brief tea cutting so it didn't look as good as this when I opened it. She's got some battle scars, she's got some deep scratches, but at least I've got one and I can build on this. If I see another one in better condition, then I'll get that and you know make a good cleaner out of the two. But so far, if this works, I'm quite happy with it. The cleaner head is where this machine has suffered the most. And also I've just noticed that the uh, rubber furniture guard is a little bit cracked sometimes they perish completely at least it's fairly intact but it's starting to crack um i may have a spare i'm not sure looks very plain compared to my 504 just no no features whatsoever no height adjustment it is supposed to adjust itself for carpets and hard floors you can see in the middle there the Electrolux branding. Fortunately, this is where it's got quite a deep scratch, as you can see. The scratch is this side as well. It only had a single picture and not a very good one. They said it was working and in good condition, but it's okay. I only paid £40, which is probably a lot, lot more than it's worth, but I was happy to pay £40. Let's have a look at the underside of this machine and I can tell definitely this is going to need 
new brushes they are pretty worn and this particular version is brushes only it's all brushes so there are two long sets and two short sets of brush the one my mum had was a beat and brush one so it had one long set of brushes one short and then at the other side there was a plastic beater bar again one short piece and one long piece this looks very familiar to me the base plate of this cleaner because many times I would undo these two screws lift up the nozzle and give it a good clean replace the belt I think the belt will be okay for an initial turning on it doesn't seem too slack this seems to have had a replacement internal hose that is definitely not original and I've just spotted that that's just come out ah, so it has suffered a little bit in the shipping but something I can push back I'm just gonna have to undo that screw and uh, push this there's a metal spindle that needs to be pushed in and then this uh, spring relocated but it doesn't look broken the wheels are okay so I'll just do that off camera just make correct this um, but as I said I think it's okay it's not broken it's just just been dislodged so here's the back of the cleaner and this is the foot pedal that had the dislodged spring so I've corrected that now so you press on that large pedal to lower the handle to the operating position and if you were to give the handle a jolt it would go into the low position for cleaning under low furniture this is the suction control so it's on maximum at the moment you can turn it to sort of a midway medium or for lightweight rugs you can go for minimum so that only affects the suction at the cleaner head it doesn't affect suction when using tools because the tools actually plug in now some muck's going to fall out I expect yes a little bit so here we can see the hose inlet where you just slide in and twist the hose for above floor cleaning so that seems okay here's the exhaust vent at the back of the bag compartment and that always gets black dust in it carbon dust I'm assuming and I remember my mum's going like that and I was spent ages trying to clean with a little brush the only other way of course is dismantling the cleaner completely and submerging the whole part in in your bath really but very difficult to clean but so that's where the exhaust air vents out of this cleaner here's the lower cord hook and carry handle which has survived the journey but I do notice a small crack just up here but I don't think it's anything to be too worried about this is definitely I would say the original mains cable it would have been white and we've got uh, <laughs> a plug I remember an Ashley plug Ashley fused made in England so yes this is definitely age appropriate the plug is in good condition so I'll keep this plug just needs a bit of a clean up when I do a proper refurbishment and just at the top here we've got the upper cord hook which does rotate so you can release the cable in one go and I've noticed as I turn the cleaner this should have a strain relief and I think I'm pretty sure I've got one I think I salvaged it from an Electrolux 504 that uh, I got quite a few years ago that was completely smashed or well, it could have been a 506 no it was a 506 but it's the same I think you could still buy them I might still have one anyway so that needs replacing at some point at the top at the other side of the handle we've got the thumb operated on off switch just a plain switch the 504 the more deluxe version had a neon indicator and one thing you'll notice and I've noticed this on a lot of Electrolux 504 cleaners that I've seen for some reason it must be a different plastic but this has gone I don't know if this is a whole cleaner it's either hmm it's hard to tell this could be the original color or this could be but the handle is completely different color now it wouldn't have been different you can easily see that that's different can't you it wouldn't have been different when this machine was new it wasn't supposed to be 
And it's such a long time ago that I remember opening one of these brand new when my dad bought it home. Um, so I think, hmm, I think it is more the color below this color. I think that is more accurate a color it would have been. This seems a bit pale, but yeah, it's funny how this has gone different color, but it's very common to see Electrax 502s with different color handles. Moving on to the top of the bag compartment, we've got a metal clip here and we've got this adjustable bag check indicator and this machine is supposed to whistle when the bag's full. Well it doesn't whistle, it makes a sort of a, it's hard to describe, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get this working in the initial video, but it does make a, some sort of a tone, more of a, a deeper tone than a high pitched whistle. And you can adjust the sensitivity according to the position and I can't remember which is the most sensitive position. Fortunately somewhere I do have an instruction book for a 502 so I'll be able to find out what setting is most suitable. Before I open the bag compartment I just want to point out a little quirk with these 502 cleaners and you'd see this difference at the same time so I don't, I don't really know why there's a change. Now my mum's 502 had this trim here, 502, but the trim went all the way down to the bottom of the bag housing. Whereas this one has this sort of separate piece. I have absolutely no idea why that is. Uh, I could never figure it out. Can you see how that piece is there? Look, slightly raised up. So, I've no idea why they changed it, if this is newer or the one my mum had was newer, but that's, yeah, it's just a quirk of this machine. Okay, time to look inside the bag compartment. I'm not sure whether there will be a bag in here, but we'll soon find out. Ah, there is. Ah, and what we also have is the foam donut, which has seen better days, hasn't it? Oh dear. <laughs> I don't know what's happened with that, but that has certainly perished. That would have been thicker and obviously not moth-eaten. And that was just positioned here just to help seal the top of the bag. And it's definitely not a genuine bag, or it might be, but a later genuine. The ones I remember had a um, yellow top and it had instructions on do not fill more than three quarters full. But yeah, plain. So at least it's relatively empty. We have a clip, could be the original. They were red, so you'd slide the clip off and empty the bag. And then underneath, just in there, again it looks fairly clean. I'm not sure if that's original. That's uh, one of the pre-motor filters. And just right at the bottom, you can just about see, is another filter that uh, you have to remove with a screwdriver. Now in my experience you can wash these, I've washed them before. So that's not too bad, so it's not too filthy. The seal here is okay as well. So we can pop the dust bag back in. And it was, it was such an easier way of changing the bag compared to the Hoover cleaners of this era. Most of the Hoover cleaners are still using the dirty fan system with cloth bags. They did have the Hoover Starlight, possibly the High Power Compact as well, and the convertible slash Dilematic may have been around for some time. But never as easy to change the bag as the Electrolux with the with the, the way it just lifts out. So we'll pop that back in, try not to breathe in any of the dust, make sure it's seated properly, and then we can close the compartment and secure it with the clip. Okay then, well, it's time to switch this Electrolux 502 on. Okay folks, the cleaner's switched on at the handle, plugged in, I've just got to switch on the wall socket. <sighs> Fingers crossed that it sounds 
like an Electrolux 502 should sound. Here goes. <laughs> Well, the motor sounds okay, very, very quiet. Doesn't sound quite what I was expecting. I mean, this has had some, some improvements, or it's, uh, it's had some replacement parts. Uh, certainly the uh, hose, the internal hose has certainly been replaced, because it would not have been that one. Not sure if even the, it couldn't even hear the brush rolls, brush roll rotating. So I'll switch it on again. And we'll just check that it's rotating underneath. Well, folks, I know now why it doesn't sound quite as it should. And that's because it's blocked. Because when I removed the hose port, the little flap over the hose entrance, I could detect a change in tone of the motor, which basically means that this, and I have got, it's not genuine, but it is for this model. I have got uh, a replacement internal hose that I can use. Ugh. Oh dear. Oh, well, we can see now what the problem is. I'm not sure if the camera can quite pick that up. Can you see? <laughs> it's a little bit blocked. A little bit. <laughs> oh dear. Ooh. Oh, this is satisfying though. This is satisfying. Oh, I hope there's not a dead mouse in here. I think that might be all that yeah you see that that looks more like a washing machine drain hose than the correct one because it it's not as wide as it should be I don't think I'm not sure I think somebody's bodged that to be honest but as I said I've got oh that's blocked as well I've made a right old mess I have got um, another hose I'll put on this and poke all that through. Right then. Oh, what's that? Hang on. Oh. It's a piece of jigsaw. We'll never know what that was for, folks. Now, if I was to turn the cleaner on, actually I won't, because if I turn it on now, all the muck that's on the exposed brush is gonna fly everywhere, so. What I should do, I'll just take that off actually. Just unscrew. Ah, you can't see what I'm doing. This little bracket unscrews and then that comes up like that. That's better. This is going to need a proper clean, isn't it? Okay, but for the time being, I just need to ooh, locate <laughs> another vacuum and uh, just remove all this gunge. And obviously it's going to need it's going to need new brushes for sure. Maybe new bearings. I do have new bearing end caps for this. The belt's not too bad. But obviously I will replace the belt at some point.
Right, there we go, that's a bit better. I don't think uh, it's going to be clogged anymore. I'll just uh, quickly turn it on. It shouldn't spew out too much. Yep, just unplug it or we'll turn it off at the socket to, to be safe. Yes, that sounds. That possibly is a proper replacement actually looking at it now, but it's certainly not genuine. Um, yes, that motor sounds pretty, pretty good. So it's got to pop this hose back on there and give it a bit of a tighten of the screw. Back goes the base plate and back goes the two screws. Did you see I was showing you this? Um, not really sure what that is, maybe it's some sort of hairpin. Um, that got lodged in as well, so that's what tends to block vacuums. You pick up one item, could be a cotton bud or jigsaw puzzle piece or piece of Lego, and it gets wedged in the air path and then as you continue to use the machine, dirt passes over it and then eventually it stops passing over it and develops a massive clog, which you could see. But that seems fine, it's unclogged and it's relatively clean underneath, so I can give it a quick push over the carpet, but yeah. New belt and brushes, new filters, definitely needed for this Electrolux 502. Well, that's the end of my unboxing and first look at this Electrolux 502 upright vacuum cleaner. One of the iconic Electrolux cleaners from the 70s, that and the 504, and of course the 345, and I'm pleased to say I own all of those cleaners. So really pleased with it. It's not perfect cosmetically, but I'm glad to have one in any condition. At least the main things, the motor, and the agitator, they sound fine. So it's only going to need a bit of a spruce up to get this working almost like new. It didn't like this carpet, not on maximum power, but I think if it had a new belt fitted, it would have coped with it better. And you would have seen a grooming action had there been new brushes. But all in all, yeah, it's so nice to have a childhood vacuum cleaner, a cleaner that my mum used to own and I used to obviously I used it a lot more than my mum did and I cleaned it religiously once a month I think I used to take the base plate off and give it a good clean up and uh, yeah I thoroughly enjoyed using this machine if you have any comments or questions about <laughs> the Electrolux 502 you have to spoil things don't you one thing that's missing is the little clip there should have been a little gray clip on the end of the cord that enables you to secure it so it doesn't drop down like that so i might again i think i've got one of those somewhere in my huge stash of vacuum cleaner parts that is it for today don't forget subscribe thumb up click the bell icon and you'll be notified every time i upload a new video and don't forget you can follow me on instagram and facebook if you wish to do so. Well, that really is it. I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.